Hello, good morning, everyone. Good morning this morning. Uh, thank you very much for joining this morning. Well, I have a very fantastic video, and right now, like I've said, I will play so many things for you. I've been playing it, and um, by next week, we're going to go to another thing. So, we're going to be going uh, to a series of things next week by the grace of God. So, um, uh, by the grace of God, I'm going to show you about a few videos and also show you the Femora Go. Femora Go, that's another software and all that you know i told you about if you see the caption you see and other apps so i'm going to be showing you some things like that this morning my name is paul a super for we are the uh, i want to thank god for those who have been appreciating what we are doing and we are trusting god to serve you better really uh to really give you a very good thing a green color green background and all that. and uh, well i've been praying i think i'm having a light of two words i'm going to do after two years after two years of doing this i i begin to have a light onto what i want to do and now by the grace of god i will do that uh as the lord giving me more clarity i really thank god for your life every one of you for joining i really thank god my name is paul and please i want to show you some things some tricks from kindy master and the femora on the green screen i've shown you that of the kindy master on the green screen how you can do that and so that when you're using your smartphone you'll be loaded you'll be seriously loaded so this morning i'm going to be showing you that uh i'm going to be showing you that uh this money so that is going to be awesome so after the word i will come and make sure you get the best of this this morning thank you very much god bless you do have uh, a successful watching uh let's go let's go there and let's go there let's go there uh let's go there so we're gonna have a very good successful watching and to those who criticize us thank you for criticizing uh we appreciate you uh, we appreciate your criticism. It's part of life. So we are happy uh, that it's part of life that you're criticizing us. It's somebody that is doing something that people can always, uh, uh, we always criticize. If you do nothing, nobody criticizes anything. Okay? So I'm going to start thank God for those people. Let's go. Uh, let's go to watch this. Let's go watch this. Trick very well. Mm, see some things. Trim it, go to your duplicate as the layer, then uh, you cut it there, you cut that, um, you cut that wheel, okay, so then you move the speed control, you see it, this is our latest thing on the Kindy Master, really, this is our latest thing on Kindy Master, not one month ago, not two months ago, you see that, so, this is moving, and, so, okay, this is moving. How can I move it? And I look as if it's the one moving it. <laughs> you get that? So, uh, you need to see that again, okay? So, let's go to the next one. Uh, tricks. I've shown you this before. I just want to show you how to enter the screen. I just want to show you this again. How to enter the screen. This is better of shown today. So you 
see the hand, you're taking it, you're bringing it out. So this is a finer now. This is a finer. Very easy. Okay. So you can practice this. That's LSS. Practice this and let's see what we have. Okay. Those are the things on the kind of master. The trick looks simple, but you can do it. All right. You can do it. You can actually. Let's go to the uh, the, the chroma key. Uh, green screen on the femoral. Oh, uh, before that, let's watch this uh, trick. Before that, as grand of C. So you see fixing of the wide angle lenses. Okay. practice it it becomes a very good thing what's let's up watch. guys Matt so let's go to the here. last one this morning have you ever morning. wondered how big hollywood movies uh, in surreal last one this morning or how the weatherman does the what okay last one this morning um i chose to do this because i felt it's going to be of app to many of us uh it's going to be wonderful for many of us to really enjoy and also um, the era you can see what i've been doing the last two weeks Wow, if I can get this in the last week of showing different videos on smartphone, that means it's not a key display. We have other things, we have a timetable we are following, and uh, well, uh, I felt, having gone to this one by, by the grace of God, I want to believe by next month when it's going to be two years, uh, like I said to us at the beginning, uh, it's going to be having a more light into what we need to do, uh, repackaging and all that. So those criticisms are very good for me to react and to make sure that I go to the next level that I need to go to. So by the way, when we finish, I will talk about some people if we want to volunteer and all that. Please let me know. Thank you very much. Let's go. Let's go back a bit here and let me play this back. What's up, guys? Matt from Flamora here. Have you ever wondered how big Hollywood movies film in surreal environments? Or how the weatherman does the weather report? Well, that's a green screen. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you a few different ways to do green screen. From the cheapest to the most expensive option. We will also cover... Do you see that? Okay. Uh, because I'll be using one to explain. Uh, it's, a, it's a video. It's, a, it's a, like a visual aid. Uh, an audio visual aid to see. Okay. Now you see what I'm talking about now. What's up guys? Matt so from, from right here. Have you ever wondered how big Hollywood moves? From the cheapest to the expensive. Okay. Expensive option. Now, do you see the setting there? You see the light here? Having a, a diffuser, 
okay another light here having a diffuser then we have a green screen at the back okay then you have your seat here this is one of the things of i do okay and by the grace of god this is one of the things that practically will be showing you some of these things in our training school okay so we're going to be showing you some things in our training school which is very very going to be awesome okay it's going to be awesome showing you all these things so let's go we will also cover how to film green screen backgrounds using green screen to replace computer screens and how to edit your green screen footage in Filmora. When all is said and done, you will learn the basics of setting up, shooting, and editing a green screen. But before we get started, let me share with you three fundamental concepts that I always like to keep in mind before shooting green screen. Number one is lighting. When filming green screen, lighting is the most important aspect. To get the clearest result, you have to light the green screen nice and evenly. If you don't light it evenly, then it will create different shades of green. If you have different shades of green, then you won't be able to fully key it out. Meaning, you won't fully remove the green screen. Yeah. If the light on the green screen isn't even, then it's going to result in different shades of green. And those shades won't be removed, because you can only remove one shade of green. Separation of speed. Make sure there's some sort of separation between your subject and your green screen. Moving back from the background. When it comes to placing the subject in front of the green screen, they shouldn't be too close to it. You don't want them to be casting a shadow on the green screen, or that they're so close that the reflection of the green screen spills onto the subject. A spill is caused when the light from the green screen is bounced onto the subject. This is something you want to be cautious of, because if there's spill on your subject, then you're going to end up keying out the spill on your subject. Yeah, sometimes you can create a hole. Avoid green. If you avoid green, this concept, you create hole. Even though it sounds obvious, yeah is often forgotten. But when filming green screen, your subject shouldn't be green or they shouldn't be wearing anything green. If your subject is wearing green or if there's any props or foreground or background elements that are green, then they will get keyed out when you key out the green screen. No matter what method, software, or camera, when doing green screen, I always go over these three methods before hitting record. There have been times where I didn't do one or two of these methods and it didn't go very well. And if it's not shot properly, it ain't gonna key well. Push the ball. If you've never done green screen before, then I suggest that you get the cheapest option out there, which is poster board. I got this from the dollar store for less than a dollar. The only downside to poster board is it can get messed up pretty easily. You want to keep it in pristine condition because if you get any folds or tears or if any of the color comes off, then it will make the surface all uneven and you don't want that. Yes, uneven lighting. If the surface is uneven, then it's going to create different shades on your poster. When it comes to lighting poster board or just green screen in general, the easiest thing you can do is head outside. I love being outside. So the best type of day to film a green screen is on an overcast day. Now on a day like this, we have some breaks of sunshine, so it might not quite work. So your second best option is to find an area of shade to film your green screen. So the reason you want an overcast day or to be in the shade is to have a nice even light on your green screen. So you can see right now we're in the shade we got this nice even green. There's no harsh shadows or anything like that. The light doesn't change. It's just this even green color look to it. And that's what we want. All right, so now that we've got this taped up, let's go over our three rules that we covered earlier on green screens. So how is our lighting? By the look of it, it's pretty even. I don't see any harsh shadows or anything on the green screen. So this should be good. So our second concept, Separation and avoiding spill. Let's talk over that a little bit. Now, separation and avoiding spill. Based on where we have our subject, it looks like there's no spill. So this light we're not getting a whole lot of spill coming back. So our final concept is avoiding green. Now, okay. I am not wearing green, so we are good to shoot. 
Mm. So it's A okay to shoot. But this is the tricky part of being outside is that there is likely to be green somewhere, like in the grass, trees, or somewhere in nature. So make sure to find a good spot. All right, so everything checks off. So let's shoot our green screen. And today we're doing a green screen. What? Was it me? All right, that went well. Now with poster board, it can be kind of small and annoying to work with when you gotta transport it. So if you want a larger green screen and more portability, then I suggest you get a green piece of fabric. So you can buy this from a film equipment store, but you can also get it from a fabric store, and it could be a tablecloth or even a blanket. But enough of this, let me show you what we use here at Filmora. Here at Filmora, we use this doohickey. But it's pretty big and the most expensive option. Now for lighting, we don't always have the luxury of going outside because it could be raining, it could be the evening, or it could just be cold. But mainly because we want more control of the light. So we choose to shoot green screen in our studio. So what type of lights do we use when shooting a green screen? We use LEDs. So we've got two LEDs set up here. And the reason for that is if we only had one, we'd end up with a gradient where one side would be bright and one side would be dark. So it would be really difficult to pull your green screen and remove it. You'd only be able to remove part of it and the other half would still be green. So you need two. That way you can get a nice balance across your green screen. We also like to use this diffusion here. Now if you don't know where this comes from, generally you can find these in the reflectors. So if you actually unzip your reflector, you can pull this out. So and a nice thing, a reason why we use this is to make the light nice and soft and even as well. If we were to remove this, as you can see here, you can see shadows. But if I put the diffusion in front, shadows are gone, right? So we want that nice even light on our green screen. and It'll make it easier for us to pull the green screen to remove it so we can see the background. Please share the video as you're watching. Please share the video right now. So now Go that we've lit the video our green and drop your screen comments. and it's nice and even, we can focus on the subject. So it's very common to light the green screen separately from the subject. So before we light our subject, let's find a place to put them so that there's no spill coming from the green screen. So this greenish light bouncing onto my face, that's spill. As you can tell when I get further away from it, it disappears. And if I get closer, it comes back. So let's find a place for George further away from the green screen. So when it comes to filming George, we're going to use two lights. A key light and a hair light. So now that our lighting setup is all ready to go, we're going to bring George in and see if he's ready to go. Hey, Matt. Mm -hmm. What is that? My favorite green scarf. Doesn't it look great? <sighs> yeah, you're gonna have to lose it. All right. Because the green is on it. Oh yes, it just be like a hole. Okay. Now since we've got our footage, let me show you how to edit it in Filmora. Make sure you have some footage to key into the green screen. Anything will really do, but we're just gonna pick some landscape footage. If you don't have Filmora, then you can try yours free by clicking on the link here or the description box below. A few seconds to do that. Well, I, um... Mm, I don't know. <laughs> Let's get started. <laughs> After you have started up Filmora, select full feature mode and then proceed to import the background videos and green screen footage to the media library. Drag and drop the green screen video clip to the see that it's picture all the picture same. track and put the image you want behind the green screen clip in the track below it. Just do right click this the one, clip this in the one. timeline and select the green screen option. The picture in picture window will pop up and this is where you can preview your clip and key out certain colors. Before picking what color to key out, find a good frame to work from. On the right of this picture in picture window is a preview window. This is where we can see the edits we're making. 
Let's use the scrubber at the bottom to find a frame. Alright, I like this frame. Now, check the make parts of the clip transparent box. With the mouse, let's use the picker tool and select the color I want to key out. So in our case, green. Now, drag the slider to adjust the intensity level. As you can tell, this slider will affect the transparency of your clip. Let's play back our changes to see how it looks. Make sure you keep an eye on your subject in front of your green screen. You may notice that some of your subject is keyed out. If they are, you will have to lower the intensity. Once you like how it looks, click OK, export it, and your green screening is done. Alright, that's my tutorial on how to film and edit green screen backgrounds. But we're not done yet. Have you ever wanted to put a video on a desktop computer screen or a TV but the video wasn't ready? Well, a clever way of doing that is using one of them as a green screen and then replacing the green screen with the video later. Now, this procedure is a little different from the three concepts that we've been talking about in this video. They're still relevant, but the subject of the shot is the green screen itself. So the first thing you want to do is go onto the computer screen that you're going to use and replace the wallpaper to a solid green image. You can find this green image through Google Images or you can just make one yourself. Once your wallpaper is set, it's time to shoot the screen. If you want a person to sit in in front of the monitor, then it should be fine. Just keep in mind our concept of separation and spill. Lastly, let's make sure that the only green is on the screen and then you should be good to go. Now let me show you how to edit this in Filmora. For this green screen part, we'll be doing the same procedure as we did earlier in this video. But what's different is how we put videos in the picture in picture tracks. That's right, tracks. We'll need two of them. After your footage is imported, first thing you will do is place any video or just a video on the main track. I suggest using a sample color because you can change the length of it to any size. Now, let's take the video you want to put on the desktop screen on the first picture in picture track. For now, just leave it here. We'll get back to this soon. I will now take the video of my screen with the green screen wallpaper and put it on the second picture in picture track and use the green screen tool to key out the green. Once the green screen is gone, go back to the video clip in the first picture in picture track and select it. In the preview window, you can see that it's highlighted. You can now resize it to the size you want. So I'll resize it to the size of the monitor. Well, the that's reason all you why I'm showing you this one to you to replace the screen of a computer. Is a bonus Once to you're those people it, who it all are really good, using export it. desktop. Well, that's how to shoot and edit a green screen in Filmora. I just want you to know that green screens aren't limited to backgrounds or the color green. Green is the standard color because it doesn't match any natural skin tone or hair color. You can technically use any color, but make sure your subject isn't wearing it. Or that that color that you're keying out isn't in the foreground, the background, or any ground in the image. Hope this video helped you out, and keep making videos. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe, and tell us what you want to green screen. Yeah. We'll see you next time. Lovely, 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 lovely. Well, lovely. Uh, I want to thank God for your life this morning. This is where I'm going to be signing out. I'm going to be signing out. My name is Paul Ishiko Voriade. Please, Monday through Friday is 9.30 a.m. Nigeria time. Saturday and Sunday is 9.30 p.m. This Saturday is going to be awesome. Well, to those who have registered for our training program, well, they starting now next tomorrow so if you have not received your email please check your email and see and get back to us and all the thank you for registering we would like to have you uh live in Ibadan, the city of Ibadan, your state on friday thank you very much god bless you don't forget nothing can stop you be creative and stay creative bye